Welcome to another edition from Outside of Genie, where we'll be looking at racing today. Uh, we're racing from Fairview, um, where there is a nine race card. As per usual, we the first two races are juveniles, and we don't uh, do selections on juveniles as there is no form to look at. But let's look at the betting um, first. We are going to give you a betting on the first two races, although we don't give any selections on that. Um, race one, number one, Ancient Times, Even Money, four to one, Give Me a Rainbow, Frosty Rain, eleven to two, Great Thunder, six to one, Electric Daisy, fourteen to one, Stalis, twenty to one, Bold Dreamer, twenty-five to one, Baltic Beat, forty to one, and longer the rest. So let's uh, look at, at number race number two. Where the betting is as follows Market Day 14 to 10, All New World 4 to 1, 9 to 2, Jagger Moon, Homer Fidget 11 to 2, Eden War 8 to 1, 10 to 1, Josh Son Sonic, and 50 to 1, the rest. Then we go to race number three, where we have number um, number one, Interstate is 2 to 1, Edu Farin is 3 to 1, Gailoon 4 to 1, Gibraltar Rose 5 to 1, Billy Ann 10 to 1, Mamba 16 to 1, Moon Knight Stranger 25 to 1, and the rest. So let's have a look at race number three, which is a 2000 meter maiden plate. You are not a strong field, um, few horses of chances. Number one, interstate. Um, has been um, placed over uh, shorter distances. Now going the 2,000 meters for the first time. Um, it is bred uh, to do the distance. Has been been there and thereabouts. Has been running on in its last three races. So number one, interstate definitely in with a chance. Then we move to number two, Gibraltar Roche. This horse is also always there and thereabouts, but just seen not to be able to find the, the winning the winning box um, was right out of it in his second last race over 2,000 meters. Then uh, didn't do too well behind Luke X Legacy X is extra late, but that was on the poly now back on the turf, so definitely a contender for the first place. Then um, my strong fancy for this race um, to win this race. And hopefully gives his good money his first winner in Fairview. His Eddie Furin has been running well. Um, behind Ice Baron, some of the horses was uh, in front of him, Gabriel Gerber the Roads, but last time he just got run out of it by Luke's legacy on the police, uh, on the on the party. But I don't think this horse has got a problem on the turf, and I expect this horse to have a big run here today. Number four, Galoon, much the same form as number two, Gabriel the Roads. Always dead and dead about not finding the winning post. Then um, I want to move down to horse number seven, Mamba, as a three year old. Um, ran over 2 2 under Polly last time out, ran an improved race, and maybe the longer distances is what this uh, son of Mamba in Seattle out of a hawk wing here was looking for. So look for further improvement. Then I want to move down to number 10, Billy Ann. Billy Ann um, is also there and thereabouts, has, has run a few places over various distances, but can trouble the judge. So let's then move on to race number four, which is another maiden plate over 1,400 meters for Phillies and Mays. Let's look at the betting first. The betting is as follows. Number six, four is on Friday, 15 to 10. Two Aryan Express 92, Quintus Angel 6 to 1, Flying Score 6 to 1, Cyber Security 7 to 1, Grenadella 8 to 1, Shadowland 14 to 1, Sudden Dynasty 53 to 1, and 80 to 1, and longer the rest. So let's look at this race then. Um, number one, Shadowland um, ran a shocking race last time. Lost three lengths, respiratory noises, uh, over further now, back over the 1,400 meters, uh, can maybe be in, you know, uh, in line for a place. Then my strong fancy for this race is number two, 
uh, Orion Express. This horse um, comes from Cape Town, has uh, two runs on the poly. I don't think we'll have a problem on the turf and has been running on strongly in its last two races, 23.9 and 23.5. And I'm, uh, I'm sure that this horse will be there when the pictures are taken. Then we move on to, race, to number... Um, <coughs> I want to move down to the bottom of the card to race now towards the number nine and ten. Uh, here we have two year olds, the flying score, the Apache. Um, Raz runs on two decent races. On its first race, it says here, lost two length Ram on, and it looks like he was the fastest for the finish. Last time out, uh, cast a shoe, but still ran a reasonable uh, race. And I'm sure that this two year old can. Um, Troubled the other older horses. Then number 10, Grenadella. Um, unfortunately, drawn a little bit wide on 10, but has run some decent races and um, has run over 1,400 meters. We ran 4.0 fines behind Erin, and, and that was in a, a juvenile and a, a, a small future where she ran third. So, and, um, and I think back over the 1,400 meters will definitely be a contender in this race. Let's just look at cybersecurity. Uh, ran a, a three good races in last time. I'll be able to run a, a poor run, but that was in the future. Now back in the maiden, can definitely, definitely be in, 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 in involved in the finish. And Quentin's Angel also improved. A power fork fully. Um, drawn to um, stubborn, no extra last time but did run a uh, approved race and can definitely also be involved in a finish. So that is then race four. Let's move on to race number five. Race number five is a fully Zemir handicap over 1,400 meters, class D, minute rating 66. So let's look at the betting for race five. Intrepid Traver, 13, three to 10, four to one Mary Moon, 8 to 1 Bushy Park, 8 to 1 Fairy Godmother, 10 to 1 Viva Vapia, 14 to 1 Black Gardenia, 14 to 1 Believe the Best, a Fleet Flyer, 14 Grey Misters, 14 and 60 to 1 and longer the rest. So let's have a look at, them, at the, this race on race 5, uh, where the favorite is number 1 Interpret Ruder. So let's start. It's number 11. Number, um, the favorite here is number 11, Interpreter, which is a two year old Carrara filly out of Rockabilly Lane. Has won well uh, in a second race, uh, the first race, ran a dismal race and then ran an um, uh, uh, improved race. The drawn free do have a chance. But uh, I found a nice outsider here for you at, at, at currently 8 to 1. This is a soft falling rain out of a Tiger Reach Me. Uh, this fall cost, cost 100, uh, 1.2 million. Then ran indifferently in Gauteng and then sent it down and won, it, won on the poly after the rest. And uh, it came, uh, it got up on the line, back just one. And then last time over the 1600 meters, uh, faded over. Um, the last 200 meters, and I think that this was uh, today over the 1400 meters. It's drawn one there on, on, on last time out on the poly, it was drawn 13 out of 14. It is difficult to win from that draw um, on the poly. Uh, the horse had to go to the front and unfortunately ran out of steam. But I do believe that this horse today will run an improved race, and I'm looking um, for a better run from it. So let's look at some other horses in the race. Um, I want to look at number number five. Number five is believed the best. Uh, this is an ex Durban horse now in um, Port Elizabeth. Um, and then from Durban went to Cape Town, where it run very differently. But what I would like to point out, uh, they deemed this horse so uh, good that this horse ran um, in behind Celtic Sea. And return flight um, on July day, 
uh, it was on the slippers, the golden slippers. Tomorrow it's the golden slippers again. And that was won by Celtic T. You put Celtic C in this race, it will win by 25 to 50 lengths, if not further. And then ran and it, took, it put 20, uh, also behind the turn flight. If you put the turn flight in this race, same story. And then it, it, it went to Cape Town and then it ran behind four as a crowd, passed a few late. Um, and, I, I, and I really believe that this uh, number five, uh, believe the best, is a, is a nice outsider. It's well bred. Live Your Dreams is uh, it's one of those good horses. I can't think of the name now. But Live Your Dreams is also a horse by, um, trained by Grant Cotson. Uh, I, I, it's a full, uh, it's also oratoria. Um, I, I, can't, I can't think of the name, but I know that it's a, a, a well performed horse with the breeding. So if you look at the Believe the Best 14 to 1, not, not too shabby. And um, the other horse that I want to, uh, to look at is um, also for outside, unfortunately drawn a bit, a bit wide. That therefore, um, but I do think this was is capable of placing and even win this race. Then I also want to look at number six, Forest Field. Um, also a horse that comes from Cape Town. I had two runs here, um, but has also run some decent races in, in Cape Town. And um, if you, it's down in class because the class, the average bear rating in this race is 62. Now, if you are 66, so if you if we have a look here, pretty young thing won a future in in in, um, in Natal just recently. Um, it's been running 77, 79, 82, 75, 78, 70, 74. So now down in class, a very nice outsider. And um, that concludes my uh, review, for, preview for race five. Now let's move down to race six. Um, let's have a look at the betting on race six. Here we have number two, Tony Jet, three to one. Leprechaun, nine to two. Sir Jeffrey, 11 to two. Toro Lake, 17 to two. Big Miff, 10 to one. Thomas Tucker, 10 to one. Nickelback, 12 to one, 14 to one. The rest. So let's have a look at race number six. Here I want to go down to um, number 14, Sir, Sir, Sir Jeffrey, uh, ex um, Derber course, now campaigning in uh, PE. Um, now, this horse ran behind Tony Jet, 54, and Tony Jet was carrying 59 and a half. This horse now is carrying 52, Sir Jeffrey. And um, this is a class 67, so it has been running in, in, in the same class. It has been running on from behind, or oh, look fast as ran on well, slow ran on well, slow ran on well. Uh, drawn, drawn two, um, last, uh, the last three times there's always, always been drawn wide. Today it's getting a, a, nice, a, a nice draw. And I'm sure um, if you look at Tony Jet 59 and a half, 54, so you're talking four and a half kilograms difference day for 2.85 links beating. Now, if you go to Tony Jet, Tony Jet is carrying 60.5. 60, 60 so, the huge difference, and I think on the weight difference, uh, Sir Jeffrey is, is much, is going to run much closer to Tony Jet. Um, uh, and, and can even beat it on that white turnaround. So therefore, that is my fancy, uh, Sir Jeffrey, to win this race. Um, I don't say Tony Jet is not out of it. Tony Jet obviously have uh, got a chance. Last time out, he lost a few links, then went to the front and tired late. So can definitely improve on that on that run. So a few other horses I want to look at um, is number eight, eight Biff, Big Miff. Big Miff um, from the Stratum Stable, Mariba riding, drawn free. Um, this horse keeps on running on from, from behind. Carried, and last time I carried out that start, good late run. Uh, one of these days, this horse is going to get there. Um, uh, um, hasn't won for 440 days race. Uh, 440 days. It is an ex-Ontario horse. Um, 
Yeah, it is an import from Australia, big brown. I know this horse um, have had a few problems and has had some often some rests. And but I expect this horse one of these days, this horse is going to uh, come through and win uh, the race. Then we've got the number nine city dancer. It's having its uh, first run here in PE. Now first dancer is not good. Doesn't look like it's got very good form. But has run against some reasonable opposition. There you have two, two words, not a donkey. Written in stone has performed well. This was won over a 1,400 meter, beating Crazy Charlie by three links. So um, this, might, this is a nice outsider that you can throw into your collections, in your selections. Should this horse arrive at the places, it, it will definitely make uh, uh, the dividend much higher. Here we have Toro Lake, also run some decent races last time out over the 1400 meters on the poly. Came up to, um, to beat Ocean Master. Now back again on, on, on the turf, as one on the, on, on the turf. Um, so also a contender in this race. Number five, Nickelback. Nickelback is a, is a very, um, still a young horse. It's uh, the standard of Blaze of Fire. Um, last time I ran in a much higher division against American Express over 2000. Didn't show much, but now back over shorter and can definitely be involved in the finish. So now let's move on to the rigs, the next race, which is race number seven, which is the um, Founders Trophy of 1600 meters. Let's have a look at the betting. Here we have American Landing, 28 to 10. Rockalow, 33 to 10. Paper Town, 5 to 1. Mangrove, 6 to 1. Coyote Creek, 8 to 1. Sunshine Mint, 10 to 1. Bolt Viking, 16. Seeking Wisdom, 16. Just My Style, 16. And 40 to 1 in the ice. Um, yeah, number one, American Landing has got a very good record in this <coughs> in PE. <coughs> has had three wins and three seconds. Last time out beat Mangrove, and I think uh, Madam Speaker was third. Um, and then there was uh, the doors from the Venice Stable um, National Park, I think. But that went on place, and then there was also a legal eagle. A legal eagle was uh, retired after that race. American uh, landing, obviously, in with a good chance, um, carrying top weight of 60, but that shouldn't bother him because he always uh, carries that weight. Yeah, even Mangrove had, had a few tussles lately, and they are finishing on top of each other. Mangrove used to be a, a sort of a stayer, and then all of a sudden, he picked up a race over 1,600 meters. I couldn't believe my eyes that day when he beat American Landing over 1,600 meters um, because he never won over that distance before. Yeah, sometimes it just shows you, and then the it, 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 last run, not too bad, over shorter. Um, last time out behind American Landing uh, was second, so both of them can come in. But another horse that uh, that in is number then is number four, Rock a low, uh, a lower, a three-year-old flower, Ali Gelding, who's still improving, has had some decent races, won three in in a row, um, ran behind American Express over it longer. Now back to the 1600 meters, but that shouldn't be a problem, and also be involved in the finish. Then also another horse that can be uh, uh, involved in the finish is number eight, Paper Town. He loves the distance. He was third behind American Landing um, last time and um, has also been dead and thereabouts. Definitely drawn four. It can be a contender in this race. Then we move on to race number eight. Race number eight is a betting world. Meditated 90 handicap over 1,200 meters. Let's look at the betting. The betting for this race, number one, Purple Diamond, 5 to 2, Sullenberger, 5 to 1, Seville, 6 to 1, Beethoven, 6 to 1, Roback Express, 8 to 1, Sir Carlep, 10 to 1, African, African Victory, 10 to 1, Diamond, 10 to 1, 25 to 1, and the rest. So let's have a look at the card. Um, yeah, number one, Purple Diamond stands out for me 
as the best bet of, of the day on this card. Currently five to two. Um, this horse is run. If you have a look here, you'll see that the average rating of this race is class B, rating 88. Now, if we want to have a look here, um, Purple Diamond has run against 97, 95. 87, um, yeah, uh, it just, I mean, his horses run against some um, good horses uh, in the past. And I do feel that 1.1.5 um, links behind my Madam Speaker, foreign source, also a good horse. I expect Purple Diamond to go in again today. And for me, one of the better bets on the card. Then another horse, I think the order can give him the biggest opposition will be number two, Sir Caleb. Uh, Sir Caleb, um, also a well-performed horse in, um, in PE, um, has run against some decent horses, uh, foreign source. <clears throat> Last time out ran behind um, Karit Karikoa, ran on, it was 87, now getting minus four. And I do think that that can be the biggest opposition to number one. And then there's another horse I, I want to just draw your attention to. There's a few horses with chances. Sullenberger has a chance. African Weekly has a chance. Um, but the horse I wanted, number seven, Roback Express also can um, surprise in this class. Has run again, also run against better opposition in the past. So number seven, Roback Express can also be a contender. But the horse I want to draw your attention is number five, Beethoven, is now uh, on S1. Uh, and unless the classes going up um, has won three out of its last four runs and can definitely be a contender um, at the finish. So now we move down to race number nine. Race number nine is a is a 74 handicap over 1200 meters. And here we have um, number one, Proclaimer 3 to 1. Brazel Nut 11 to 2, Wicked Girl 6 to 1, Seattle Mermaid 11 to 1, Cashel Wear 11 to 1, um, 7 to Fellow 11 to 1, Paul Macias 13 to 1, 40 Days 13 to 1, November Storm 13 to 1, Wuhan 16 to 1, and 20 to 1, and better the rest. So let's have a look at the form here. Uh, 1200 meters. I think one of uh, number one, Bermatius, must have a strong claim in this race. It is getting minus four. Uh, last time out, ran behind Beethoven, ran out of steam after the rest, and I think will perform uh, will perform different diff better. I just wanted to point out we're looking at a class D with an average merit rating of 69. Now, if you look at this horse, this horse ran. Behind Sir Friends, you four and a half links. Now, if you put Sir Friends in this race, it will definitely it will be no race. Um, and then um, there it was 97. Here, run against the 73, beat Magic Mary. Magic Mary came out last time and won uh, and and won her race. Uh, and then by um, behind B Driven, just ran out of steam. But the biggest advantage of this horse is getting minus four uh, from the jockey. So I expect this horse um, at 14 to 1 to be a big runner. Proclaimer is the favorite. Um, comes from Cape Town. Has run against some decent opposition. Meet at the George has won after that. Um, and Captain side also ran a, a nice race on, on, during the week. So number two, not without a chance. Very well bred dynasty out of a gold mark me. Breeding is definitely on the positive side here. Then um, we can also want to have a look at number four, Wicked Grin. Wicked Grin has also run behind Bedouven and has also run behind World Rider, Para Handy, uh, at one over 1,200 meters course and distance, by three links. Uh, still a young horse, Patala Palace, can uh, uh, improve. And we're looking here at the betting uh, Wicked Gin 6 to 1. I just want to look at your was uh, 13 to 1. And also casual wear is improving. I think we'll find the winning box uh, soon here in PE. One of these days, was it going to come through and win? Um, then I want to move down to view, uh, Eurostorm. Also getting minus four. XP, uh, uh, speed stable now finds itself in PE. It can improve, I think, over the 1,200 meters will run a better race. 
can be involved in the placings. Then, um, one is also a, a young horse still improving. Uh, one at long odds last time over 1200 meters can still improve further. November Storm, uh, it, November Storm is one of those horses, hey, he never gives up. He's always involved in the finish, uh, but hasn't won for 12 to 45 days. But also a horse that runs often, it can run um, on, on the turbo or the poly. Um, and I would, would think that this horse can also be involved in the finish. So that concludes our uh, review for the meeting at Fairview today, 24th of July. We're looking forward to the July tomorrow. Uh, yeah, we're looking to, um, hopefully we can make a few rounds and uh, as I always say, break a leg. <laughs>